Just making sure everything is working the way it should. Just making sure everything is working the way it should. And we don't need that. Excuse me. Wow. Judy, Charlie, Sherry, I'm sorry. I uh, never said I could read. Echo, I just turned my phone off. Did that fix it? I'm not saying anything right now. I guess I should, so you can tell me if the echo's gone. Do, 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 do. Looks like 2019 is going to be another goofball year. I know y'all know how much I hate to do this, but I'm scraping some crusty bits off my plate. When they've been on there... And they're not coming off with a gentle amount of work. It's time to start over. Hey, Claudia. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Just going to pick on this a little bit and then we'll get started. Did everybody have a good day yesterday? I must have watched 40 live streams. If I don't get unhooked on those, y'all are never going to hear from me again. Gene, the musical scrapper, had a streamathon that started at, I don't got off old 5 o'clock in the morning. You know I'm not going to get that one. And then they went every two hours after that. So it was kind of fun. That group has been together a really long time. Several years anyway. Now Melody is a moderator. What was my favorite? Hmm. Gosh. I can't remember that seeing a list. There were so many good ones. Let me think. It'll come to me. Um, if you want to see those, you can do, I think Streamathon is the hashtag. And um, Musical Scrapper has, a, has all of the YouTubes embedded on her site. How bad is the lag today? Okay, let's test it. One, two, hey, two seconds. That's great. Let's see. Shauna was on. Um... Well, my mind goes blank. Debbie Apps. Debbie had a good one. She did a two-parter. Um, she showed how she took a fashion model out of a... Um, magazine and cut parts of it off. And then she traced them onto a watercolor paper and painted that. And I think she put the paper back on at one point. Anyway, it was a... It was a good, you can tell I didn't watch it full time. That was fun. Uh, who else had a good one? They were all good. Favorite medium, they were all working mixed media pretty much. Uh, a little bit of watercolor. Shauna did a real good um, dragonfly in watercolor.
Anybody, anybody that's new, welcome. Be sure and hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you'll know when I go live. You can count on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 Central Time. Um, I do a quick little YouTube, I mean, Facebook talkie on Wednesdays at 4. And what else do I do? Oh, I pop up here and there during the week. Just depends on what I'm doing and how many other peeps are streaming. Gosh, who else was on there? Dang. Let me see. Come on. Get away from the video over here. I don't know where that is. Watch later history. I'm looking, I'm looking. We're still a little bit early. Come on now, YouTube. Don't you dare mess up. Okay. I was just watching Kathy Arbor and realized it was time for me to get going. Um, no, no, no. Let me get down there to yesterday, two hours ago. Nope, nope. I like book arts. Um, Jean at um, yeah, Musical Scrapper did a little journal with some Coptic stitching. That was cool. That's hard to show on film because you got to get it right up where you can hear it or right up where you can see it. I am going to answer your question. As soon as I can get to yesterday. I didn't make it to... Um, there's Debbie Epps. Debbie's the one. Did I say that? Debbie's the one that did the jigsaw. Gosh, I think everybody did yesterday. Janet Young, last night, she was going through, um, my memory is shot. She was going through her scavenger hunt book and having a few little drinks. And the other one I just remembered that was the best ever was Miss Lena. It's M-I-S-S-L-I-N-U-X 2010. Miss Lena. She is funny. Oh my God, that was funny. There's Musical Scrapper. I'm in the zone here. I've got so many videos I want to watch. Of course, y'all know I'll always be. Uh, do, 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 do. Partial to faces. And that's, I was partial when I first started, and I'm still partial. What pockets, what pockets. Yeah, Shauna did the New Year's Eve dragonfly. Everybody streamed yesterday. I watched instead of streaming. There's Debbie. I guess I just need to come to realize that I'm not going to catch them all. Um, who is Hippie? I wouldn't. Okay. I don't think it was Scrap Chip that did the uh, Hippie Art Journal pages. Mm -hmm. 
anyway, that, that'll give you the heads up. But New Year's Day streamathon. Gosh, I'm seeing so many I want to watch. Diddy Willingham was in this group. Okay. Now go back to mine. Except I lost it. I'll be there in just a minute. Hit the wrong button. Okay. We're set. Now, who else sneaked in while I was gone? Uh, Lena, uh, here, I'll write it. How about that? Thanks, Judy. Um, I'm I'm really stuck on, uh, as y'all know, jelly printing in this journal. I'm studying this with Robin McClendon. Let me write her down to you. And she's um, at. Robin McClendon, okay, a rare birds. Um, she's into minimalist and textures and making of your own to use. She's also a professional artist, and so she's got a lot of tips. It's kind of mixed media and kind of not. Um, it's, it's a mixture, but mostly mixed media. And I have thoroughly enjoyed her. The whole goal, and we didn't start at the first of the year, was to do one page a day for all 365 days. I got 86 pages, so I did pretty good. I did 10 at Rosemary Morris's the other day. So I'm going to show you those first. Um, Lena is from Denmark, and... Um, there's something in her voice that's just so lilting and uh, fun to watch. She's a funny girl. Anyway, these are some deli prints that I did last week on screen, I think. I'm not real. Oh, yeah. These were the ones that I did the um, liquid. I used um, crayons, water crayons. Um, I used the Tim Holtz ones because I still haven't found my duos yet. And then I put pen pastels on them. And then the last step was to do a light acrylic pull. So that's what these are. And I really like that technique. And here's another page I did at Rosemary's. This is a piece of an inkjet print on parchment paper. And I, had, I also took the photo and made it grayscale first. I may have made it sepia, it kind of looks like. And that one's wild, but all this red printing was already on it. So I just finished that up a little bit. The fun part is going through all my uh, printed papers and everything from the last, what, five years and finding things that kind of go together. And then you put something in that's discordant, like this echo dyed paper. So I'm really having fun with it. This one, um, I was testing the stamps that I had cut. And I had some extra uh, yellow ochre one day and just wiped it off on this page. And here are some more pieces of that paper from the previous. This one's nice. This was from that same Sunday that I did those jelly prints. And old tea bag. <coughs> old tea bags. <coughs> ah. And this piece I had saved. It's a uh, an encaustic piece of paper, waxed piece of paper, and I had already used the circle out of it for some reason saved this and it fit perfect. So that's fun. Rosemary's experiment, she's worse than I am, guys. She was experimenting with heat set that. Um 
I used a little piece of it there. Supposedly, I think what she said was that you can lay it down and heat it, like iron it maybe, and you don't have to glue it. So I, that's all I know. I love this one down here. Okay, and this one, I don't know what was going on here. Oh, and I do know this is that paper roll that I got, the painting paper where you um, protect your windows and floors when you're painting. And this paper is real light. It's kind of lightweight, kind of like a lightweight craft. And you can get it at Lowe's and Home Depot. I got some of mine on. I got both of mine online. And I don't know how many of y'all saw that, but this was also a, some of this was also painted on. This is one of my echo dyed leaves from Rosemary's house last summer. And this one's one of my favorites. This is the, um, it's not sticking very well. Um, parchment paper inkjet. And that was the day I was practicing with, um, I wanted to do some inkjet transfers. This one is just about gone. Maybe I got enough. It may not stick because it's parchment paper. Anyway, and this is um, another piece from the Echo Dodd. And this strip right here was wax paper that I had used between sheets to keep them from getting painty. And um, that's been kicking around my studio forever. Is that Rosemary? I was just talking about you. Anyway, um, this book I got at Goodwill for two bucks. And... I thought I was getting close to finished, but apparently there's almost 100 pages left, single pages, maybe 50 signatures. So my conundrum was, do I finish this one or do I start a new one? And I decided I was going to start a new one. Since I have it and it was two bucks, I can do that, right? Ta-da-da-da! I don't see. It's just a plain old planner, you guys. Barnes and Noble. I think it was a dollar thirty, maybe. Woo! Barnes and Noble has all of their things with the date, all of their 2018 stuff on half off. So that'd be a real good place to pick up a nice leather one. This one is not leather, but I like the way it behaved. It looked like leather. And here's a bigger one. So, what Robin does, though, let me get this one back out. Now, this book is very, very flat because of the uh, Uhu glue. But if you take another double this here for these empty pages, your book's going to be out about like that. And the binding is eventually going to break. So, what she does is takes out the center guts. And if she has more than one book for a year, I mean, she just puts them together and makes a leather cover for them and puts the signatures from the books into that, into her new book, which would become her 2018 book or whatever, you know, what year it is. Okay. Check. What you working on, Carson? Oh, Melody, you're my, uh, uh, Rosemary, I thought you were a moderator on here, too. You're going to be. If I can figure out how to do it. Add moderator. If anybody who is ever a moderator needs my attention, tweet me or message me, and I'll get it through on my phone. Good for you. I'm getting ready to start a new one today. Okay, here are the ones that I made yesterday. 
Now, this is a big don't. Don't ever, you know, which of course means, huh, why not? I'm going to try that. Photo paper. You're not supposed to use on a jelly plate. Uh, <clears throat> but Robin found a way that you could. And it gives a luscious texture. Let me see if I can get that up where you can see it. It grabs the paint a little differently than the regular paper. Um, the only thing, the only caveat is that you have to be sure that you have a complete coverage on your plate of acrylic paint. And the paper will suck up everything that's on the plate, except for my crusty bits. It didn't get some of those. So there you have it. And I did these yesterday and had no problem. I did have a couple of times where I had a spot that didn't have anything on it. And it is stuck on there good, but it peeled off fine. I don't know what it would be like if you left it. So there's that one. I'm practicing my mono printing so that I don't get these blobs of all over pattern. Let's see if I can do it that way. They've got a little bit of a sheen to them that isn't the ink. Um, I mean the um, uh, color shift paint. But you can see paper through there. It's not white enough to really bother me. So there's that one. This one's a fun one. And see, cut up on the bottom of one of these journal pages. That'll just be awesome. Make sure there's no, you don't need me. Photo paper. Um, and I got Kirkland's on Amazon. Kirkland's, everybody says it's the best and the best price. It's made for Costco. I got 150 sheets, and I think it was $15. And there's how you open it. I'll be darned. I opened it from the wrong end. Not surprised about that. Okay. Now, if this bothered me, I could take a Distress ink pad. Or any kind of an ink pad. Boy, once it gets on there, it is on there. But anyway, that's um, a way you can get it on there or cover it. You have to plan it better. Old paper. Pumice. This one is pumice. This is a Tim Holtz. Uh, distress spray stain. You can get the same effect if you have any of the pad refills. I just sprayed it on my finger. And... Anyway, it covers the white of the paper. You can even go up into here. You just don't have much working time is the problem because that paper will grab it. It was fun because what I bought the paper for was um, I'm going to start doing some big experimentations with alcohol ink and photo paper is a good substitute for UPO and it's a whole lot cheaper. And I've got to have cheap or, you know, relatively accessible. This one's pretty. I don't particularly care for those big clumps. That's from pulling up my crusty bits. If I don't like them when I start to use it, I can probably pick them off and do something else in that hole. Um, but it's got to be something that I've got more than 20 sheets of, you know, because if I have 20 sheets of something, I won't use it. So um, this is inexpensive enough to, what, a dollar sheet? 150 for 15. What is that? Somebody's better at math than me, surely.
And I know it's cheaper than Yupo for sure. This is pretty. And again, these are very subdued, which is what I was after. Very monochromatic. This is fairly boring. Um, I've still got big sections of nothing. But it's the only way you get better. This one's not bad. It is not my colors, which is a good reason to use it and practice it. The paper is really weird. And then these were the ones I was not that happy with. But again, you're not going to be perfect the first time you start anything. And with painting, my first love, um, it's never going to be perfect. You just do the best you can at the stage you are and let that be, be enough. The only way you get better is by painting a thousand paintings or some people say paint a mile of canvas and papers. But now for collage, this one will be very nice. Let me turn these this way. This is on onion skin. Onion skin has cotton in it, and it goes back to the 70s. And every once in a while, you'll find somebody that's selling a whole ream of it for a reasonable price. Reasonable, I mean under $50. Some of these people are selling $20 for 10 sheets. Here's some vintage it's got the browning on it and it's got an attorney's address down here but that's a no-brainer plus they're 11 by 14 so i get extra bang this one's a nightmare but it's got some neat pieces that can be cut and i could keep going with it if i wanted to i love all the red and green in that anybody say anything Ten cents. Thank you. And um, you can also find photo paper at thrift stores because nobody, use, very few people are printing photos anymore. So you can find, you know, 50 sheets for a dollar. So grab it if you find it. This one's pretty. Nothing to write home about, but great for collage. Here's another. Eh. But again, good for what I'm going to use it for. And this one I started, I did, I just reached for some paint and I got golden snapthal red. And boy, is it red. This whole page looked like somebody had died on it. <clears throat> but I had I really done my top layers better, I would have seen more of the red peeking through. And that would have been cool, like in here. So... Anybody have any questions? Yeah, I'm going to play with alcohol ink next week. I'm ready. I bought um, Tim Holtz's alcohol inks for uh, not Fat Friday, uh, Black Friday. <laughs> it is getting about time for New Orleans. Um, and, yeah, I was bad. I bought them all because that's just my thing. Uh, I've been that way forever. If there's a Crayola color out there, I wanted it, you know. Some people are happy just picking and choosing colors and not me. Even if I never use them, I want them all. But since they were half off, I bit the bullet. Um, so I've got alcohol inks. I've been researching some things online. I won't be just doing circles. I've got some other big ideas. So, now my plate is fairly clean. Fairly. Clean for me. <laughs> Y'all remember in the early days when they said, oh, don't even use dye inks or spray inks or anything on it. It'll stain it. And then somebody said, why? I want to and I did some writing on that and I'm ready to go whoops I better put this lid back on um, Beth we pretty much do our own Christmas um, since our house burned down and our daughter died Christmas doesn't exist for us so we kind of have Christmas all through the year 
And neither of us needs a damn thing. So, let's start the new year, baby. I'm going to start with something translucent. This is the Color Flash. This stuff sells for, Rosemary, I think, got some at Michael's for a couple bucks a couple years ago. And Walmart carries it now year-round. It's not a test anymore, supposedly. And theirs, I think, is 3 to $4 a bottle. Um, Hobby Lobby carries the four ounce bottle, and I think it's eight dollars. So, you know, just try some and see what you like. And I think there are 10 colors. I have not found a good price online. Um, Amazon seems to be a little expensive compared to those, but since I already had mine, I didn't really compare it too much. I know that there is a, a, a there we go. Now I've been cleaning off my brayer on my little ink pad. I mean my little jelly plate and pulling a print from that from time to time. Trying to figure out where the see it's over here. It's this one I think. Trying to see where the glare is. It's not too bad. Okay, so that is purple flash, and it flashes to gold, which I think is just awesome. Let's put some stamps on it. These wood blocks, I was collecting them, and they're expensive little boogers I'm going to blot that off on that paper um, and then um, Joggles which is one of my favorite suppliers um, were closing them out and they started at half off and then they went to 25% off and then they went to buy $20 and get one free so I stocked up on a lot of them I would I still want a bigger one, you know, where you could just stamp once and be done with it and take a drink of my lunch. And no, it's not vodka. Hey, Sherilyn. Yeah, we're happy. I got up today and man, the live stream started just like they were yesterday. I want this to dry up a little bit. I'm going to use a piece of this and just pull a light print. Just get some of the extra paint off. I'm trying to not get all over patterns. And my lunch today is a slim fast because I was watching... Uh, Kathy Arbor's live stream and looked up and it was 3.30 and I thought, ah, i got to get ready for mine. So I grabbed a Slim Fast and uh, I've got fresh black eyed peas and hog jowl in there to eat. Randy took he cooked it this morning and he took off for, deer, for bird hunting, duck hunting. So I'm by myself today. So it's either that for dinner or pizza. Busting the myth. That's what we're doing today. Get a little bit more. Well, I mean, it will adhere itself. The paper will. It scares you because when you pull it, you're pulling up some of the latex or whatever this is from the jelly. You should have to be real careful if you do that. I would hate to think what would happen if you left it on there long term. But we're not going to do that, are we? Nope. Oh, we still, yep, we're still not buffering. YouTube has such a problem with that. I don't know if they're trying to run us off or if they're trying to 
start a new um, y'all want to talk about crusty bits look at my heat gun this is Paul, which is an indestructible sculpting medium and caustic is on there anyway this is another no no but I'm gonna hold it up high enough that it won't get hot Doesn't like the moving. Quit. All right. Now, what shall we do, my levies? I'm going to do a little bit of Titan buff. This is the other reason this is so handy. I think that tube needs bottle needs to be cleaned is that you can get it on your brayer in spots and you get a smoother rather than trying to put it on the plate and then roll it out by the time you get it rolled out it's got it's all, all one it, and if you need some more you can just come back over there and get some so that's where I was making my mistake yesterday was in getting too much all over okay so we are having the uh, pink disco effect today so usually it clears itself up I have my golden paints over here you can't see them in a bin to the side I have a bag here and I have another bin down here with stuff in it. This frosted glass might be pretty. I haven't used it enough to really tell. Here's a wood block I did myself. This wood is from stamps. I could not bear to throw it away. This is the hardest wood in the world. I carved and carved, and finally I said, well, you don't know what want to know what I said. I got the Dremel tool out, and it didn't really do it right. We might use that. We might try it. I'm digging for something special. By the time I find it, it will be dry. There, that's it. That's one of them. No, I lost my blacks. My uh, chocolate flash. I already got metallic on there. Do y'all like how I talk to myself? I do it when you're not here, too. A new one, but I know I didn't empty my others. Ah, there's one of them. This is chocolate brown metallic. It's not a flash, but it's still by Folk Art. going on over here Shaylin that's what I always use is my phone because um, I'm multitasking do and since I'm usually in front of the TV um, that's what I do I have the large iPhone which, whoops, you just proved yourself a liar. Okay. 
Let's see if we can get a print. I did one on both sides of that. I did get a little print. How about that? May have to carve a few more of those. Real sure the use of it. And if y'all know me well, you know that I'm I usually like to see what somebody else has done with something first. Because I'm not that big an experimenter. Pull some of that off. Hey, Debbie. Yeah. Um, and we're using photo paper, which is a big no-no. You're not supposed to use photo paper with jellies. But if you keep a layer of acrylic, even if it's a sheer acrylic, um, and then put the paper down, you're good. But it gives it a different look and feel. It's really cool. There's so many you, um, videos going on. All right, I've got some right here. Ta -ta -da -da. Um, what am I going to use? I'm just guessing here. This is quinacridone nickel ozo gold. And I'm going to do Titan buff. I'm going to do a pickup print. Well, not pick up. This is a, just a first print. Shiny side. Which one, Debbie? The Nicolazzo? Yeah, it is. And golden paints are pigmented. You know, we hear that over every... Oh, it's highly pigmented. But it just takes a drop or two, so a bottle that size will last forever. Wait till I show you this one. I had no idea that it would, would be that pretty. Okay, here we go. Big reveal. Now, this is a one-time pull. And we got some neat layers, because I had all the layers on there at once. So that is what I would consider a first pull. I'm not real good at just put a paint layer down and pull it, put a paint layer down. Good stuff on here to work with. Get the rest of that. And let's go with, this is Red Flash. I love these because they are so translucent. That one you can put directly on because it'll spread out pretty quick. I don't care if I have it all over. In fact, I prefer it when I don't. So there's that. What do you want to use now, Miss Vicky? I'm going to use a little bit of Deco Art Traditions Prussian Blue. If you want an acrylic paint that is, it's high quality. It's art colors like Golden, but it's less expensive. I'm a um, helping artist with them. And they, I get to order stuff from them. So it's, um, it's pretty good stuff. I like it. Now, I may create a bunch of nothing here. But that's okay, right? I 
Did I use the black yet? Oh, the charcoal. I think I better do some light. I keep going back to that. Um, here I go again, saving stuff. Keep going back to my. my uh, this is Martha Stewart Pearl. I had to order these online, and they're very. I had trouble finding it, Martha Stewart Pearl. If you're lucky enough to have a Michaels, you might have some. This is Ceram Coat. I put a dauber top on this back when I was trying to figure out what Jane Davenport was doing. And uh, I think it dried up. That's the problem with those. It might come back to life, but I doubt it. This was what at that time what she was using for skin tone. You got some there, baby. You notice how I just forgot to We're gonna have to do a pull over here for too long. Let's do that right now. This is a piece I was using for my Oh, that's cool, Rosemary. I think somebody said it was three eighty eight at Walmart. So that would be a good price. I really, really like them. They add such a it's not in your face glitter. It's um you really have to look for it to see it. It's so translucent. And this paper is onion skin. I bought it and take multiple pulls better. Next up in our very near future is going to be um, alcoholics. I'm going to put them through their paces. Hey, maybe I can turn this without knocking anything else over. That took care of part of it, didn't it? And as I said before, I'm studying, or I'm taking, it's an ongoing class with Robin McClendon. She really encourages working with papers that have cotton so that if you are to sell something, it will last. And the journal that I showed you that you've seen me work in. That's yuck. We'll get some more. Let's see what else is on there. Let me put my little thing on there. Again. The journal is almost a wish book, like a swatch book for um, a upholstery store. So if you were running in that crowd, which I'm not, someone could look through your book and find a couple that they like that they want to hang over their fireplace, and then you could do them long. Yeah, you can, you're beginning to see that. Cool. I'm going to use that same piece of paper and pull off some of this loose paint or too much paint. Cool. I love that um, red flash in the middle. Okay. 
I want to make sure I've got the entire plate covered. There aren't any holes. Okay, I'm going to put our print back on. It is mine too, Debbie, except there's one caveat there. I'm trained to mix colors, and I don't always want to do it because with with artists' colors like Lizard and Crimson and Naphthal Red and Prussian Blue, those colors are strong and they'll overpower each other if they're used undiluted or unmixed. So sometimes I just want to pick up a color that's already mixed if I'm doing this kind of work. Now, if I'm painting, I want to mix my own. Yeah, we're getting there. And it has pulled almost everything off of this plate. That's what now there's where it was sticking to bear plate. It's scary. It's real scary. But you can do it. Kind of like uh, Debbie Epps. I mean, not Debbie Epps. Hell, that's you. Um, Bernie with uh, Pan Pastels. Oh, we kind of don't like for you to get them wet. We just have that in our catalog. We haven't tested it. Well, you know, damn good. Oops, there's some red left. You know darn good and well. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Because I've done it. I've had my pan pastel since 2005 when they came out with them. Because the world I grew up in, we wet pastels all the time. They're water soluble. We paint with them and everything else. Let that dry a little bit. I say the world I grew up in. It's funny to me because uh, pan pastels were introduced to the market in 2005 as a fine art medium. And they were selling right alongside pastel sticks that sell for $15, $20 a piece. So that's how I knew them. I was really surprised to see everybody's hooking on to them um, as a mixed medium. material do you I start with the magnifying glass that portrait of Mora in pastel I gotta rig my lights though a little bit okay dry way up high. My paint may not have been uh, no, but I wonder where my pen is that I like. See, I moved everything around last week when I was doing my brushes deal. And it is a hoodoo, uh, you, oh, ooh, ooh. shit, I'll get it in a minute. A hoo hoo pen, and it is really nice. And of course, it's not right here where I can find it. So, I'm 
I want to do some. These are great, you guys. Oh, well, look, the paper's hanging in the way. Dog on it. Make a marker kit for kids. It's fabulous. I filled with, uh oh, pink disco. I filled one with India ink and I've got uh, regular ink and some of the others. My other pen works better. I'm cussing here. Now yeah, we'll let that dry for a minute. I know I took my pen out of my bag. I went to Rosemary's Saturday. We had a big time at Rosemary's. And that belongs over here. Okay. It's here. I'm trying to get in the habit of unloading my bag every time I get home. Like I said, this may not be sheer enough for those letters to pull, but we're going to try it. I'm going to try a little bit of I don't think we'll get a print, but you never know. Cute little flower. Wouldn't be a good idea to roll over the top of it, Vicky. Carmen. That's the goddess writing. It's what I call it. Just kind of finishes things off a little bit. I'm waiting on this to dry a little. I get flustered doing these. And um, sometimes I get going a whole lot faster than I need to. Kind of get sloppy. I'm trying to patience and master patience. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and it's jelly, but the main thing is just to get in there and do it. What you think is trash may be pretty good. This is also a method where um, 
need to use that blue. Um, you can do one pull and pretty much have a finished page. I kind of like doing that. Let's go with my thinking batter. This is that chocolate brown, right? Yeah. Prussian blue. Just one little. Yeah, it's a lot of waiting. Another thing that I do, uh, not always, but most of the time, is use a warm white, not a titanium white. I'm after, myself, I'm after a grungy vintage look. Looks like old paint peeling. And, uh, yeah, you do see some of that white, but anyway, that's my preference today. Tomorrow, it may be different. So I'm going to use a little warm white now. And again, this is Traditions. I'm going to use a brush. Don't ever, ever, ever use a watercolor brush. With acrylic. I'm making this up as I go along. There is no rhyme or reason. And I do have water. Let that dry. I see a little clump I can get rid of right there. And I see another one. And two, if you were using jelly prints to tell more of a story, this wouldn't really appeal to you. I mean, if you were thinking about framing it or something, I had way too much paint there. But for what I'm using it for, collaging, this is perfect. Because you're never going to use this, the whole page. I'm going to put a little bit of this on. It'll blow your socks off. Who would think that bronze would do what I'm fixing to do? And that's another golden. See how when you get it right out of the bottle, you get 
dots and when you roll it off first you get that okay now do your thing i see some big blank spots right there Got quite a few in there. Well, all right, we're just going to add some more color. Let's go back to the Quinn Azo. Actually, those empty spots are pretty cool because they'll let some of these things come through. That's weird. I'm picking stuff up, probably because it's not dry. My roller is picking stuff up. Maybe wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that it's crunchy. That's exactly what's happening. Okay, we're going to pull this puppy. That is strange. I've never heard that happen, have y'all? Hey, Jilly. Okay, has anybody ever had that happen where your briar takes stuff off? Of course, grunge is what I want. Now I'm going to put red flash. Cover the whole thing. That sounded like a Debbie Epps. That's good enough. Da 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 da. Wonder what we're gonna get. At 10 cents a sheet, it doesn't matter. Debbie, you missed um, Kirkland's, which I've read online. Everybody says is their favorite photo paper. You can get it at Costco. I got it online, 150 sheets for around $15, I think. If y'all know me well enough. Dollar thinking it was fifteen. Now we need some more. That's real grungy, isn't it? I love how that looks. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with this one and see if I learn any more about how to do this. That were translucent translucent. Let me pick up a little bit of that white. Okay, that got part of it. I want some turquoise. We've got enough empty spots on that. Whoops, that's purple. I'm going to cover the whole plate because we've got the empty holes that we've got on that print. Okay. 
are all over the place and they should I probably could let the paint dry a little bit more and the paper gives it a real funny texture it's almost knobbledy does that make sense Ah, now we're getting something that I really like. Hey, Christine, y'all be sure that you give me a thumbs up and a bell, ring the bell. And anybody that is remotely curious about my art school, let me type this in. This is the only time I ever promote it. Otherwise, it's done by emails, and you can say whether you're curious or not. So that means that you don't get bugged. I don't ever want to be on sale today. Only 10 more days to get in. So if you're interested, do that. And if I don't quit live streaming, um, I won't be ready. That's not helping that one that much. Doo -doo. Let's, um, my black lettering didn't come through. Hell, that thing does a pretty good job. Let's try this side. Got one. Look at that. But I got rid of all my stamp blocks, so I can't do that. And that's all turquoise. Let's come over here and just pour. Start with something delicious. Ten. I didn't get much. See how this just for a cleanup is looking pretty cool. Now, as long as I don't have too many paper, raw paper holes showing through, this should not stick. It's the raw paper over here that, that will do that. Just like that. See, I'm showing you. Let's do Let's try this Big Paisley Method's working pretty good.
Voilà. Yeah, I want a big one. I want I want a six inch one, but I want a big er one. Always, never satisfied. But since Hubs has been getting the mail lately, I've had to cut back. But every time he says something, you know what I say back to him? Boat. Boat. Because he's got a fishing boat, not a bass boat, but a flat bottom boat, all tricked out with all the latest stuff. And he pretty well hushes then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. That should be dry enough because it was thin. I watch all of my school videos from Robin. That was cool. Slick move because you had a wet brayer. Same color as what your stink was. Nobody said I was a genius. That's funny, Beth. <laughs> well, this is the first time in my life that I haven't brought in at least the same amount of money as he. I did have a good year on commissions, though, I have to say. I don't do more portrait commissions because they take so long. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't know what the back side of the paper will do. Sticking down, it may not be a good idea to do that. Okay, it doesn't stick. So it's just the coated side that has the problem. See the pull marks? It's almost like a scholastic pull where you um, you do it on glass or metal and you get these, you know, the slurping marks where the plate doesn't want to turn loose of the paint. I am not going to mess with this one again. And the reason is um, I can come in here with one of Tim's ink pads or this, um, where'd I put it? Pumice stone spray. And I'm gonna put it this time on a paper towel. Let's see if this works. See? It just deadens the white enough to the white of the paper. I could have waited till it dried, huh? Dry. So there's your trick for the day. There you go. I could do that more. Um, Beth, if you go to actually.com, what I put up before is my uh, website, and that address will take you to the blog post and the navigation on that site. There is a gallery, and I apologize ahead of time because I need to clean it up, and I haven't. But yeah, I have a gallery. Um, so nobody's surprised that that's behind too. But for the past two years, I've mostly been doing mixed media. So this kind of stuff. 
I like this page, guys. I particularly like it with the pumice stone filling in some of the little spots. Why don't you just go ahead and finish that? You'll forget it. And I don't know if you remember when I said earlier the photo paper grabs every ink. So when I put this on there and wasn't ready, it stayed right where it was put on. Changed it a little, but not much. Oh, there's a big old spot right in the middle. In the school, I'm trained or anything but trained from master tutors. Um, so what I what I teach in the school is are the art basics, the value that makes a line art circle turn into a ball, uh, the uh, how to mix colors. And those are things, the first half of the class is um, all things that apply to all art. And let's see, we've got, we study line and a little bit about perspective. It's for beginner to intermediate. And um, um, then the second half of the class I introduce you to oil painting, soft pastels, encaustic, and watercolor. And the kit comes with the class, and it's all artist quality materials. Um, and when you get out of that, you will have the knowledge to know what you want to work on when you grow up. It took me eight years to suss out all the basics by myself and on my own with what I could research. And it would have made my journey so much better had I known that. And somebody says, oh, well, you need to put a cooler color there. Well, hell, I didn't know what a cooler color was. I do now. So anyway, I'm just taking a lot of the guesswork out of it. Let that dry up a little. So where are you? Oh, Beth, the other thing you can do is just search for my name on Google. I think it comes up to about, I don't know, four pages or so. They're there. Because I've been doing online stuff for 15 years. Actually longer than that, but we're not going to go there. Back since we were on dial-up. Yes, that is a heat gun, and I'm holding it way up. Hey, Michelle. I never run you, but when I do one of these, I advertise it in the mornings, and then I don't slide. That's the main reason I schedule is so that I'll show up. Tells you a lot about me, doesn't it? I'm going to do some more of this because I like it. I 
that's what's so sticky that it's pulling stuff up. Now, if I planned to do that, that would be pretty cool. Isn't that weird? I've never had that happen before, but that's what's pulling it off my plate. Uh, I've got about 40 rollers, but they're all somewhere else uh, put up. I see them, but I can't get over there to them. I need to get in here and organize some watercolors, add them to my storage system. There's lots of stuff to do. Ah. I'm going to roll this off a time or two over here where you can't see. Well, at least we solved that problem. And I have this one, which is almost as corroded. Looks like I'm in for some cleaning. Is that one pulling too? Dang. It is. Oh my goodness. You can't see it because the plate is the plate is stained. I wonder why. Look at that. No wonder. Bye, Nikki. Except I just call you Carson. Um, Beth, I'm kind of that way. While I was studying, I kept having people say, why don't you just pick one and stay to it, stick to it? And I said, what do you mean pick one? You know, watercolor, oil, encaustic, soft pastel, and then pick one genre. Uh, trees, portraits, still lifes, one style, <laughs> Picasso, Rembrandt, you know. Hell, I couldn't do that. What happens if I try something and don't like it? Spots. That is weird. Look, it's cleaning this. Now, this brayer has not been used... In weeks. Wild. Okay. So I'm going to put some. How are you going to do it, baby? Where's that brush? No, so you've seen it all. Has anybody ever had that? And that's probably why my for Poland's quality. Everything needs a good cleaning. Okay, I'm going to pull one new print because, because I can. It was for me, Beth. That's why I've got a full soft pastel station over there and a full oil station over there. And caustic, each of them I can be painting in just five minutes, so I don't have to unpack a bunch of stuff. Well, 
Well, that's what's causing my problem. But you sure do get some neat, grungy features. How's the best way to clean those? Water? Bye, Beth. Have a good dinner. I'm going to have black-eyed peas and hog jowl. I hope there's some meat in it. How much time do we have? Have y'all got another um, stream to watch? So I'm going to put this away and break out my new journal. Twenty nineteen Virgin Book. You're going to sink. And so are you. God, what will I do without a dirty roller and plate? Ah. Okay, that got fixed, so it would close anyway. I'm going to keep going for a little bit if y'all want to stay. I no longer need these. This is a, I've got this in an insert from, I don't know, something, probably a computer. It's almost like a silverware tray, but it's that harder plastic. So anyway, I pulled that out to sit here because it can sit half on here and half on the other table. Other poop. Weird. I think I've already gotten all the beauty off of that one that I can get. Okay. Okay. Not messing. Put that away. That way, and that way. Uh oh. Did we? No, there we are. Mine went to tap again for instant replay or instant whatever. I haven't finished my slim fast yet. Okay, change. Change mindset. See how the aluminum ruler pulls on these. This is like cardboard. Not every one of them, though. They're kind of like varying thicknesses. Now I'll probably find out that was two stuck together. I'll do this because Robin does. <coughs> Not too stuck together, but boy, that is heavier. No, we're not going to keep all the strips. Save that one. Um, 
um, peel paint. That might be too dark. Maybe not. Isn't that a neat trick? Just kind of covers up the white areas. That's what was causing all those little white things. I need to get familiar with my distress ink pads too. Too much stuff to do. Switching gears. was good. This is the cheapest acrylic paint in the world. You get it at uh, Walmart. It's the De La Rowney acrylic. This is important. Just, it's really just almost a neutral. But it's sheer because it's cheap. Anybody need me over there? Okay, thanks, Melody. Well, come over here and finish mine, Jilly. Actually, all I've got to do is take it out of the bowl, out of the pot, and eat it. These may need a little more glue, but I'm going to try it. God, there. This is cardstock, man. Do find there. Do find there. Let me see if I can curve that. Curve that in just a hair. And this uhu is about gone. I don't know how you get the tail end of it out. I think that might be the plastic in Miss Vicky. The whole thing, maybe. I don't want it in the center. Kind of is, though, isn't it? It's, uh, oh, the whole thing that I was trying to use is plastic. I bet you can dig it out. Um, is Beth left? I forgot. Do, 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 do. I want that to stay. You know, you bought 12 of these. You could just throw that away. But there's 
glue down Now this draws pretty quick, so I'm going to have to get that down before. Now, did, you, did you get an email from me the other day about, um, or yesterday about questions? It's about the clock. I know you didn't get very far. paper over that. Now if this pops off, I'll just get some matte medium. Trying to keep my desk clean, you guys. This will be an auspicious start to the new year. Get to start a new glue stick. When I'm really painting, my hands are perfectly clean. <laughs> Not with mixed media. Okay, I'm done playing with that. Can I go now with the with this? I'm gonna save the lid because I have dropped them before. One up 
here. I should because I kept getting new ones. Gonna get timed up now. The hands of the Baskervilles. And if that doesn't stick, I can do something. Isn't that pretty? I'm <laughs> good. I'm not the only one. Welcome to my world. Rosemary, I need your tea bags. Okay, those are all too much alike, so I'm going to slip over to my. Oh, wait, those are the ones There's anything over here that. Is a little less attention grabbing. I see a rosemary tea bag. These were the ones I did with the pan pastels. These are all too too demanding. They want your attention real bad. Maybe. I love this method of intuitive because you don't really know what you've got that's going to work until you try it. And then you go through all your papers. And by the way, those of you who don't know, Shannon Green, buy Shannon Green. If y'all don't know her, if you don't, you should. Her custom keepers made, made out of recycled paper our vinyl are perfect for keeping your papers in. You can just flip through as much as you want. That may need to go on there because it sure jumped out at me. They're inexpensive. They come already strong. And the other thing about this is that you don't think about it too much. So you're training your subconscious to make its own decisions. Which is where you want to be because most of us have a habit of overthinking. 
and then we get paralyzed. This is a monoprint, an encaustic monoprint. And sometimes they're softer on the back. And this is done, this one is on rice paper. See, I don't want them the same. I just want them similar. And I never thought I would use a glue stick, but they are so handy. And my pages in the other journal were almost flat. You don't have to wait for them to dry. This stuff has a little bit of an open time. Oops, let's put it this way. Oh boy, she can tell you they've they've gone to um, the uh, C uh, CHO show now. I was in that group thirty years ago when it was HIA Hobby Industry of America, and they wouldn't let crafts in then, and that's all crafts. These are little, I don't say it right, I know I don't. Warsatch is the way it's spelled, okay? And you put acrylic paint down first, and while the acrylic paint is still wet, you drop some India ink in there and watch it spread. It, it kind of interacts with the wet paint. I don't know that I want to use that. Need to use this someday. I did her in um, in the Seuss, the German, I mean the Russian stuff. I need to put her in here somewhere. Oh, I was going to look at that piece of this. I try to stick to around three or four elements. This is the iridescent bronze. I like it. That just looks like real gold.
you have to have an enormous amount of supplies to do this type of stuff. They mimic each other. <laughs> There it is. I'm going with it. I mean, you've got to have a lot of papers to choose from. And I know that that will peel off, so I've got to have a piece of plain paper. How do I know that? <laughs> Is it fun to see how I make the papers and then use them? Nose. Are we um, doing okay still on buffering and stuff? Uh, it's real funny though. The um, if you look at it, if I look at it from the laptop where I'm hooked into YouTube, it doesn't ever buffer. But it's the uh, it is now pink disco. See how easy? Sure wish I could find my good pen. Good Lord, that's a trickle brush. <laughs> Should be used like that. Oh, no, no. Sharpie, you can do better than that. No. Oh. All brushes go bad so easy. Wait, that's a that's my little bitty one. Let's see what this will do. You can't hardly see it. Do, do, do. Hey, beauty. Better. Bet you don't know what I said, do you? Ta 
Ta-da! There we have it. Bye, Carmen. They're peas. Black-eyed peas. Bye, Carmen. Okay, I'm going to do one more spread. And I'm probably going to be real sorry I have that big chunk of paper in there. I might have to cut it off. In fact, I am going to cut it off. Now I'll probably find out that Robin doesn't even use photo paper in her journal. That's better. This is a an inkjet print on a transparency. That didn't do anything for me. If I don't see something that just hits me. I see pixels. I think those two go together. I'm going to do that. <coughs> Oh, these are watercolor paper. Yeah. Why not? Tears easier than that photo does. Okay, so now we've got two that are same size. We've got the edge on both of them where I didn't paint. I guess I could take that off. No, I'm going to leave it. I like to float, even when I do framing of art, I like to float <coughs> even distance at top and sides and let the extra be at the bottom. Look what you just did. Good enough for who it's for. Yeah. Somebody the other day called it spitball, and one of them is longer than the other one. 
We'll worry about that in a minute. This paper is 90 pound B paper, which I really like. I ordered it by mistake, but it's excellent for printmaking. So I thought, well, I'll just keep it. where long fingernails come in handy. I'd give my foot nail person a heart attack if she had to do my nails, my fingernails. See, even these little pieces you do stuff with, but good Lord, you know, there's a limit to what you can keep. And then you got to organize it so you can find it. I buy these Uhus 12 at a time on Amazon. Now, what's going on? Hey, Shauna. We just um, made some revelations that my steampunk roller here was pulling off as much paint on my plate as it was. The uh, silverware tray with all the paint in it. Look at that. It's got warts and everything. That'd be a terrific skin. I'll get that later. And we decided that I was going to start my 2019 journal after we made some jelly prints on photo paper. <coughs> Excuse me. Shauna did an excellent painting of a dragonfly yesterday during her streamathon picture. There, if I can find it. I made some of this stuff back when the jelly plate was brand new. My pages weren't very interesting then. Okay, now, where are they? Hmm. 
have some god awful stuff in here. But again, if you don't take it as a whole and look at the parts, it's not in there. I guess I could use my stamp. That's what I made it. Could have used some double adhesive tape for that. There's my X. And I need black pad. You know what? You slide down there, I'll slide in here, and get a stencil. My goal is for a studio where everything is within arm's length. Make sure this pad is doing good. Please, please, please. Nope. black and white, but it'll do the trick. Now, here comes the trick. Doesn't matter because there's not much there, so. use the stem holt stem holt <laughs> tim holt's stamp platform too it's not quite arm's length but i can look at it and there's my little o that matches and these are cut out of plumbers Rubber. I may be in trouble. All right, now this is what we're going to do. Why didn't I have my Tim Holtz thing out? I never used it because I'm not a stamper. Disco day.
<laughs> no, <clears throat> I'm too old for Lena's Roy. Good Lord, was she funny last night. I'm looking at washi tape. Just in case I might want to use a piece. You can tell I've changed what I've done. I've, my colors are all bright. Right and shiny. There's some Tim Holtz tissue. But if it competes with, I think it'd be okay. Very subtle. Well, did I put that one upside down? I did, so then I put this one upside down. And I forgot I'm supposed to glue down washi tape. And how many companies come and go? You know what? I'm going to leave it until it starts coming up and then I can tape it. Because it might not. Tim Holtz stuff is a better quality than a lot. Ta-da! We're done. Looks like you were slanting. <laughs> hey, I was only off an inch last night. I, I said um, 20, 20. 20.6 or something. <laughs> yeah, I showed mine last night and he just rolled his eyes. What I think is so cool is we never know exactly how old somebody is. And somebody that you think is your age might be 50 years younger or older. Okay, that's a good start for 2019. Now I've got to figure out how to um, clean off those brayers. I never did hear where its blowhole was, Lena. Thank you, Shauna. You know, some jelly plate prints are just pretty enough to stand on their own. Murphy Oil. Um, which gives me an idea. Tools. Where would I find tools? Or, um, I'm in a world hurt since I organized everything. Can't find nothing. Um, 
there's the tool bucket. It even has chunks of paper. Ooh. That'd be fun if I could just get that off. But it's not because I was real cautious. Be like archaeology, won't it? Okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to soak them and get them back to kind of where they used to be. I like getting stuff off of them as you're rolling, but I don't like it picking up the stuff off the plate. Um, these things, Branson, the my rollers. Yeah, I could feel you, Shauna, going, ah, ah, don't do that. I was real careful. I only went through one layer. And I think I've got seven or eight more of these up there. But still no reason to tear it up. Ooh, look. <laughs> what y'all do today? Well, we watch Vicky peel her roller. Cool. Now I have to finish it. Yeah, and also we'll clean oil paint too off your brushes. Well, it comes right back to the roller, so. This is kind of like peeling fingernails. This is a history of my life. Okay. <laughs> Only used once. No, it needs to be a museum. I need to sign it. And it could be in a museum. Shauna doesn't like to break the rules. I figured that out. Is that right, Shauna? Yeah, I want nail polish. What do you think? Should I go in tomorrow for a manicure? We watch Roy and guess on how big his handle is one night. The next night, we're peeling paint. Okay, that's about as far as I... Well, maybe not. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Lena. We sure all bring different perspectives to the table.
Shauna, I, I also have to tell you that I worked with an X-Acto knife in the graphics arena for years. I would wear one tucked behind my ear like a pencil. So I had a real good handle on how deep I was going. I may need to do this again tomorrow on the photo paper and see if I get different results. It probably won't work at all now since I've got a clean roller. <laughs> yeah, nobody wanted to dance with Roy because he wouldn't take his hat off. Good choice of song, Lena. Good music came out of the 70s. I remember him when he was just new. I shouldn't tell you that. Yeah, I would hate to live in a world where everybody had the very same ideas and the very same uh, opinions and thoughts about everything. I'm blocked from... One of the people in our group, well, I say I'm in the group, I may not be, uh, for a political thing on Facebook and Twitter. And that's just kind of silly. Twitter's the only place that I even talk about it. I don't do Facebook anymore except for my private groups. Hey Beth, now now we're I'm picking uh, picking paint off my roller. Exciting time in Vicky world, I tell you. I figured out it was pulling the roller was pulling paint off the plate, and I didn't want it to. So I'm gonna do this and then go cir circuit and Murphy's all. Look at that. This goes back to 1965. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm planning to. It was fun last Saturday. Randy took me down there, and uh, he brought his painting. He's an artist, too. He brought his painting gear and sat up and got ready to do a watercolor. And next thing I know, he disappeared. And uh, he didn't come back out until about 5 o'clock when we got ready to leave. And he'd been in the house with Richard all day. I've never seen him bond so quick with any other man. Maybe I need to worry. Yeah. But anyway, it was fun. I think I'm going to quit too. My arms are getting tired. It's almost what a time. I start late so I can sip on it all night. Or not all night until I go to bed. I don't want to do it all at once. And 
get a buzz, and then you don't enjoy anything else. Like my bingo playing. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Love you too, Melody. I look forward to seeing you Saturday. I hope you're still feeling good. Gilly, I, Julie, I've got to get off of this. I'm not doing anything else. I don't know what that is, but it's sticky. Imagine that. I may come back tomorrow, depending on who else is doing. If I can rig up my lighting, I can work on that pastel portrait again. Look at all those crunchy bits, crusty bits. Okay, throw them away. Oh, I don't want to. Let's we'll save them. All right. I'm done being silly. Okay. Love you guys. Glad you dropped in. It was a nice, quiet, fun afternoon. See you, bye.